everybody. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The title of this video is Twin Flames Illumination of the Path Home to Eternal Life. You attract situations in alignment with your thinking. You manifest a reality associated with your beliefs. Your core choices give rise to your way of thinking. See that there's joy in this moment. The foundation is created on the inside. Just as you desire the fruits of a spiritual life, harmonious twin flame union, a life purpose, you must drive your roots deep into the divine. If your roots are good, you can grow tall. Anything with shallow, with shallow roots will topple over when the storm comes. It requires study and application. Apply those to your inner world and help others who are on your level. You'll become a channel for spiritual fruit and it's so profitable that it's silly and life becomes a series of endless solutions instead of endless problems. Deepen the foundation of your life. Know how to build upon it when the, for when the storm comes and sweeps things away. You'll be able to stand firm. If you continue, you'll eventually come out of separation and build a stable foundation with the divine. When it comes to your union, you don't need to be so focused on the practicalities and realize that there are really no blocks to the divine. You really don't have to worry about anything. Release any fe feelings of overwhelm that you may have. There are lots of changes going on in unions in the collective at the moment and there's an awful lot happening behind the scenes. If, if you don't know, it's because you're not to know. That's how the divine is orchestrating it. Some divine masculines, for example, switched overnight and union came in. Don't worry, it's happening. Each union has its timing. You'll, you'll have to go into your cave where all your biggest fears come up and it may occur before union, during union or after union, but the cave is really big. But you don't have to take over long. Nobody knows what else is going to arise for them at the, on their journey. Oh, stuff is always going to arise and beyond harmonious union all the way to perfect union or full enlightenment, but that's okay, bring it on. Please know that whatever it is, you can handle it. You'll be seeing it through to the end. If you're still here now, then you're due this wonderful union. You're be one of those who's waiting to explode into fireworks. The work is a discipline and it's all unfolding beautifully. Invest in your journey. Refuse to invest in numbing. Stand in your power and don't be swayed by anything just because. Stand in your power and never override your heart. The collective is currently moving into forgiveness. This is bound to happen because unions have been waiting to come in for eons. It is of course quite natural. And while this is occurring, there may be feelings of doubt and control coming up to be cleared. Listen to your intuition and process any feelings that come up. Doubt doesn't mean that things are going wrong or that you've gone backwards or the knowingness has gone away. It will just be lingering strands and pockets coming up to be cleared until there's no more doubt. Your knowingness is expanding and you're releasing that doubt. It has to come up for release. There's an awful lot of things happening that we can't be privy to. It's better not to know at this time. But I can tell you that for many divine counterparts, there's going to be a period of reflection. Because, excuse me, uh, things are not so great for, for some of them at this time. They're um, not having a great time. They're, they've got their own struggles. This is one twin does the inner work. The counterpart will experience a lot of inner turmoil and a lot of not being able to get close and thinking of things but not being able to say them or reach out or write them. And then one day when the block is clear, they can come in, but not before. It, it isn't really living to be living with someone who's the wrong one. It won't be comfortable for those of you in that situation. A lot of feelings will be coming up. It's, it's a process getting out of a situation. 
The shift happens overnight, but it can be a long time coming. In false relationships, people give their power to things that come with it. It's harder to say goodbye to those attachments, because I had one boyfriend once, he was in the 90s. Um, and I knew he wasn't my wife, and I wanted security so badly that I became very attached to his family, his home city, um, his dog. And that didn't help at all. All it did was just make it a lot more difficult when I did have to get rid of him. Yeah, it got to the point where the only reason I could think of to remain with him was to see his dog. I ended up getting my own dog. Yeah, saying goodbye to the attachments. It's not even, yeah, then it's not even about the person or the future uh, you thought you were going to have with them or the idea of who they were, but the external trappings. It's a big step to take, but when it's done, it's done. And it's okay that it's done properly and well thought through. And they're gaining a clarity. It It's happened at the pace that it's been done at. It couldn't have happened any faster. There's been a lot of feelings to work through and that's okay. Fears that come up, even if you know that they're irrational, they still need working through. It's time for deepening your trust in the divine. Please know that everything's falling into place. Inhale the bliss of the present. Just be here now. How do you feel in your heart space? Is there anything out of order? Move into these feelings, expanding your heart space, spread peace there. The function and purpose of the spiritual tools is the purification of your heart. All spiritual tools perform the same function. Because I studied Kadampa Buddhism for four years, and the deeper I get into this work, the more similarities I'm being able to glean it's like, it's like with them there was the purification practices and now it's the mirror exercise yeah they all attain the purification of consciousness to perfect union with the divine or full enlightenment use all the tools that you encounter they serve the same purpose you'll come to your perfect life unions are opening up you have no need to worry if you see others on social media coming into non-twin flame relationships, please remember that some, sometimes these relationships don't have anything to do with love. Remember what you're doing. Everything's internal. The only thing that's important to us is our own connection within. It'll be as it's meant to be. If it leads to even deeper healing before union, yeah, of course, so be it. You'll only receive what's yours in whatever way that may be. That's all we're here to receive. We won't receive anything outside of that. There's a real purity for this. Your Twin Flames progress will be reflected in your journey, however fast we've been moving. It can seem slow, but it's not about pace. Your Twin Flames pace may look different to yours because they may be doing it in a different way. So don't try to control how it's happening. It may look terribly sl slow, like nothing's changing, but in truth, everything is because we are. And they're coming into an awareness. Other people may be just beginning their journey or picking up from where they left off in a previous life. All we're wanting is for the divine to reveal the right person at the right time. It's a very personal inner journey for the counterparts. They're going through their own process and we're going through our own process. We can't be in our Twin Flames journey, but we'll know, just know that it's perfect for them, whatever it looks like. And whatever it is they're going through, we have a lot, we have to do a lot of letting go and surrendering and being present with yourself. A lot of this is required at this point in the journey. It seems like doing nothing, but it really is everything. Negative self-talk about being fundamentally unlovable is a core block. That's really the place to be, the work of the day, really deep in the core. How do you feel about love itself? Why does love seem to be 
over there somewhere like an impossible feeling. Show up for yourself here. Bring love to this space until you can feel the block dissolve it, dissolving. Stay present with yourself here for as long as you need. Don't abandon yourself uh, here uh, until the exercise is complete because that's a choice of settling for less. Stay present with any doubt. It won't need any more than your loving presence. Feel that doubt dissolving as you know that you're on the right track for God's journey for you. Any part, If there's any part of you still resisting love, be with this part of yourself that might not even remember love. Yeah, we may have forgotten. Be with this part that's forgotten and bring him or her the love that he or she needs. Let that love in. We're finding all the places where the love didn't re yet reach and making the conscious choice to expand love into them. Reach for yourself. Let any anxiety release and bring yourself love into the place that feels anxious or nervous. Keep letting the love in. That's exactly where we need to be, 100%. Be with any tension. Why do we feel like we need to resist the divine if you're feeling resistance here? Be with that part of yourself that's afraid to be abandoned. It's a core wound. Please know that love never left. Separation never happened. The divine was there all along. Excuse me. The divine was there all along. Finally. <laughs> Give yourself that reassurance. You're safe. The abandonment was just an illusion. You can let that go. Let the love in. Bring in the perfect love for yourself, the divine through your perfect lover. And let yourself receive all the love you need to soothe that heart. And please know that you're safe and secure. Go to the part of you, yourself that's been living alone or feeling alone. And let this part of you know that the divine is here. Your twin flame is here. Give yourself all the love you need in this place. Know that you never have to be alone Again, this, this is why people settle for less. They don't have to be alone. This is what's happened to a lot of divine counterparts, and it's just the opposite pattern that you may be experiencing. They may be afraid to be alone, and they still find themselves even more alone with the wrong partner, because pretending sucks. Do you feel that there's something standing in the way of love? Where were you, do you, do you feel that you can go no further? Have you built a wall to protect yourself from getting hurt? Are you feeling unsafe? Avoiding feelings to avoid being hurt is why people numb out. So be with that part of you that's feeling hurt and feeling like he or she needs protection. Bring him or her that loving presence and anything else that he or she needs. Stay present. Choose union with the divine here. Let love fill this entire space. Know that love can't be wounded. Dissolve that belief. Love sets you free. Love is freedom. Be with that part of yourself. Bring your loving presence here. Love never left. It wouldn't, even if it could. There is no state of lo lovelessness. It doesn't exist. Give yourself all that safety, reassurance and comfort. Are you feeling under pressure, like your desires are out of reach? That's not true. It's not how we were created. Choose to release the illusion. Choose to let the truth in, which is union. This is the way. Nothing else makes sense. Bring your loving presence to yourself and anything else you may need. Love can't leave. Let go of any negative self-talk. Don't gaslight yourself. Love yourself in this place where you, if you have been, go in and be with that part of yourself that believes that his or her good can be taken from him or her. That's not happening. Know that nobody else can have your good. It's not for anyone but you. That is you. Choose yourself. Choose the divine in this place. Choose to be able to hear guidance. Union energy is coming in. People are coming to the core more quickly. Some people's unions will be more progressed, depending on where they left off in a previous life. Some people 
can find some areas of communication really easy. At the start of the journey, things can look really easy and then we go deeper and we hit the core stuff and get traumatised and the trauma's already there and it takes time. For the ones who already know their twins when they come into this work, the process can take a little longer than for people who go through one or more false twins, but that's okay too. Whatever type of journey you have, it will be perfect for you. Union happens within you first. Be yourself. You have nothing to hide. You've claimed your man or woman. That's what we're meant to do. They can already feel that on some level or another. They're not daft. They like a mystery. Leave them to do their thing. They'll surface when they're ready. It's all going on on the inside. They won't show a thing. It's not just you who's going through a lot. There's stuff happening with your twin flame too. They may be scared to connect because it's triggering. You just heal. The way forward is to he simply heal any bad feelings about the connection, about seeing them, about love, about everything coming together. You just heal every last thing you're shown that feels bad and you bring it to peace. That's what we're doing right now. You just bring love to that place where it's trigger after trigger after trigger and work through it. It's about you and you and this is how you're doing it by going to all these spaces. If, if wherever the area of most hurt is, the scary place, that's the place to go. That's why for some, maybe space is being taken right now, but please know that there's love in the silence. Okay, everybody. I'm, on that note, I'm going to put this message to bed. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it's uh, brought you a little bit more clarity. And if yeah, you would like me to talk about any particular topic, just let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.